Hello, welcome to the video on composite functions. This is our first example set, example set A. And of course, uh, as always, I hope you had a chance to watch the lesson, and I'm assuming you did, and you have a pretty good idea what a composite function is. Okay, so what we want to do in these problems is find the composition of the given function. So everybody should have a basic clue what what I'm talking about. If you don't, you want to go back and um, start at the lesson. That's my recommendation. But let's go ahead and continue to practice what we uh, learned in the lesson. We want to find the composition um, of these two functions. Now, we have a function here, f of x, and we have another function here, g of x. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to find f of g of x. We're going to plug in the g of x function into f right here. Okay, we're going to do that for f of g of x. And then we're going to, let's use another color, we're going to plug in the f of x function into the g function. All right, that's what we're going to be doing. Let's go ahead and start off with the f of g of x function first. All right, so if you think you know how to set it up, go ahead and set it up. Remember, you want to plug in the g of x function into the f of x function. All right, so f of g of x would look like this. 2, okay, f of x function is 2x. So it's going to be 2 times x plus 1. That's the g of x function. Okay. And that's all, there, that's all there is to do as far as the setup goes. Now we simply need to go ahead and simplify by distributing this 2. So you should have 2x plus 2. Okay, that's f of g of x. Pretty straightforward stuff. All right, so let's go ahead and do g of, f, g of f of x now. We're going to plug in the f of x function into the g function. Right, so g of f of x. Go ahead and set it up now. g of f of x is the f of x function is 2x. I'm going to plug it in right here into the g function. So that's going to be 2x plus 1. So this is where you plugged in the f of x function, which is 2x, but then you got to add 1 to it. So let's go ahead and simplify, and we get 2x plus 1. Okay, so g of f of x is equal to 2x plus 1, and f of g of x is equal to 2x plus 2. All right. Now, sometimes when you, you have two functions and you're asked to evaluate f of g of x or g of f of x, one can be very easy. Maybe the other one can be much more challenging. You might have to do a lot more work, you know, multiplying, etc. You just never know. Okay, so let's go ahead and follow up with these last uh, two problems here. <clears throat> So we have f of g of x. So let's take a look at this one now. We're going to plug in the g of x function, which is this. We're going to plug it in to the f function. All right. So f of g of x is, okay, my f function is x minus 3. All right. However, this x, I'm going to plug in the g function, which is x squared. So it's going to be x squared, let me write that better, x squared minus 3. Okay? That's the g function, and I plugged it in for that x. All right, so now we just go ahead and simplify. Like I said, some of these are very easy. So f of g of x is simply x squared minus 3. Okay, let's go ahead and do g of f of x. I'm going to put, plug in the f of x function this time into the g function. So we're going to plug in the f of x function into the g function. So go ahead and set that up. All right, so g of f of x. The x function is what? It's x squared. But instead of x, I'm going to plug in the f of x function, and that's x minus 3 squared. x minus 3 squared. Okay? So let's go ahead and just use our FOIL method here. x minus 3, x minus 3, and there's a couple other techniques you have. x squared, negative 3x, another negative 3x, and a positive 9. So g of f of x, when you combine like terms and everything said and done here, is x squared minus 6x plus 9. Okay, so there's g of f of x and f of g of x. Okay, 
So we're going to continue to practice this in the next example. That's very important that you know how to deal with these composite functions. And uh, if you're still struggling a bit, I definitely uh, uh, recommend that you go back to the lesson. Just take your time, okay? You can pause the video, make sure you can do one, and uh, go on to the next uh, problem, do the exact same thing so you build up some confidence. Okay, hope to see you in the next example set.